chopper with the coat of hot, I take it and I talk about another race. And listen, please, best believe all the things I see in the bickering of the shit you preach and the hating on me for everything I've done. Trying to break my focus, you don't know about the tribe. Not this on the trap, but late into the night, spiking all this fuel and doping all these ties. Not to break the rules, but just to bend those lines. And if you call me out, I'm coming way. straight up out the cops. No, no. we're just guessing here. Okay. Fuel around and make sure we're right for the night. You got that rear pill system, it's popular now. Yeah, it's all we've ever run, so we don't really know. Uh, on our cool cars, it seems to work pretty good. First, just trying to pull the panel off, you know, so it's all we've ever run, so it works right. pretty good for us. So we're... Why are y'all here in Sydney? It's a decent drive, ain't it? Yeah, it's about 13 hours from the time we left home to here, so, but you know, it's a pretty good complex. I think you've got to spend the time and, you know, support it, so. Got a pretty good feel here tonight, it's not too bad, so let's see how we go. Well, and I'm assuming if this place does take off right, this will be a place where y'all will venture a lot, you know, because y'all been everywhere yeah, this year. I think if they can make it work between, you know, Victoria here and home, um, everyone talks, make sure that they all line up, it'll be pretty good, pretty good complex to come and race all the time. Was she training you? Yes. Oh, okay. She's in training? Training. Been doing it for long enough, I guess. Really? This is like crew chief of the year or something? What do you no, mean? Definitely not crew chief. No, no. Crew chief in there. What's oh. A shock That's a shock. <laughs> I thought his shock was like breaking news. Or like when he won a heat race? That was a shock. Oh, that was a shock. <laughs> how are you gonna um how are you gonna in, in, in do you even know what to do here? Yeah, I've done it, enough laps around here, I feel but like. But it's changed. Yeah, it's different, but it's still the same. It's round, it's brown. Okay. It's look, it's a little bit different, but for the most part, it's, it's still going to be pretty similar. It, it it might race, it might be a little bit narrower to race on, uh, like with the other cars around you, but from the practice, it, it pretty much felt very similar. So, no, 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 no. Maybe mo- the the, hold on, this is moment of truth, right? I don't want to offend you. Look at your arms. I feel like you're COVID. I need at least six feet of space. <laughs> the truth. All the hard work, all the reshaping, all the cars are here now, race night. It's a big deal. How, how do you feel when you're watching these cars hit the track for the first time? It's a little nervous at least? No, not really. Look, I just said to Braden now, look, this is it, man. Finally, there's cars back here after, what, nearly 12 months. Um, I guess all the hard work now is sort of satisfying, I guess, now when you get to see cars pushing off as we are now. And hopefully we've got the track right and it's pushing up on the fence and that's how racing should be with big slide jobs. But personally, seems like your name's been stamped on this whole reshaping and working. It, it, there is some heat on your shoulders. There well, is. Not yeah, just yeah. heat like muscle. That's but... all right, man. I got broad shoulders, so I can take it. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> so weight on the world of the shoulders doesn't matter. It doesn't point. matter. It doesn't matter. Look, as long as the, the track does hold up, um, fans go home happy, the competitors are happy with the track surface, and hey, that's first night if we if we buggered it up. We'll just go back to the drawing board and fix it. Well, and with traps like that, nobody's going to come and tell you off. Well, that's right. You know, you see a lot of negativity online and stuff like that. But uh, the one thing they haven't done is picked on the racetrack yet. So um, go for it if they want to. No. <laughs> <laughs> Check fuel. Yeah. 
Some big driver or something? Uh, I don't know about that. Some kind of Brooke Tatnall? No, I'm just uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was a good one. <laughs> Is it a good one? I have no uh, idea. Yeah, you yeah. had to relocate for a reason, right? No, no, no. 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 We had a lot of good years together. Don't worry about really, that. Really? Okay. So then what's today's world for you? Uh, right now it's just helping me sun race. So just building some machines and yeah, trying to work out how we can go back to America again, trying to find some sponsors and getting more laps. Like it's hard to get sponsors nowadays, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, obviously, as you can see, well, this is our first race in our hometown. We're only five minutes away in, what, two years, year and a half. Right. So, well, yeah. and I was kind of, you know, in helping Callum get a ride in the PA, I kind of yeah. learned how it's, like, fairly easy for Americans to come over here on a ride, but yeah. it's almost impossible well, for an Australian to go over there on a ride. Did you have, did you have, uh, did you get well, on a ride back in the day? I, I did, but see, you got to start small well it was a lot different back then too right you know like i think well my first ride was for bob trussell right so yeah i mean like we didn't have a big budget but my dad tipped in a fair bit of money and got us around the track i was still learning so i tore up a few cars and right um you know we done that for a whole season and went back to knoxville again obviously and raced for ourselves had a really decent season in 92 and then yeah my dad said it's time for us to head to pennsylvania and i just ran my own car for a long while and then I got opportunities to race with Bob Wykett and, and Walt Dyer and stuff like that. And yeah, so I've had, I went for myself and the learning curves to the best teams in America and probably stuffed them all up myself, but that's just the way it goes. Well, it's sprint car <laughs> racing. I mean, you got to put it on the uh, line. I probably didn't even do it at wrecking cars. <laughs> well, is it, is it luck, though? I mean, there's a lot of guys who push it just as hard and say another nah. car doesn't do the same thing I, and you I just take it. I never got fired from in a race car. Like, actually, all the guys I drove for, whether it was even Gary Stanton or the Mopar team, the hardy you drove, where everybody and even if you had happening. a bad accident, we are going live they're still happy. As long as their car's going forward, yeah, they're shaking your hand up, even if you crash. But it's an all big package. you you got to make a big team and you got to stick together for a while. As you can see, while the top teams over there are the real Really, really good ones have been together for five and six and ten years, and that's why they keep winning. Three legends of our sport, and they've got a lot of money behind them as well. Huge results in what they've done. There's a lot of talented drivers over in America. On the racetrack, and there's a lot of talented drivers here. Like Lucky McGill and Jock Goodyear are showing that. Paramount City Raceway. We've now got this place. We've had some dramas, but we're back on the road. 
Everybody wants to know who's Dylan Mintz. Who is this guy? Oh, I don't know. Depends on who you ask, I guess. No. Yeah, I wanted to race sprint cars all my life, so started a uh, business and um, just keep working at it. To um, so yeah, I own the team and and race, which many people don't sort of think because I'm sort of so young. But um, yeah, if I if I hadn't done this, I, I sort of wasn't good enough five six years ago to get a drive with anyone. So it sort of just gave me that bit of a thing to go away and start a business that was capable of running a sprint car team and. We're finally here, so I want him to travel around and get some experience. In New South Wales, in the 57, is Brendan Scores, you start there at five. Wait, wait, wait. Uh-huh. Women in Australia know how to use these? Yeah. Wow. Oh, what the hell? This hey, is... our women are good here. I know. What the hell? What is going on? We got the best We got the best women. I know. This is illegal. Oh, You're not offended at those comments, no? No? Hey, she's not offended. No, why should she? She's Australian. Well, I was making jokes. Aussie chicks. Aussie chicks.
to go out there kind of yeah just sort of follow the leader like i've missed the start a little bit and then i hate just following the leader so i just had to have a crack on the top in one and two but the boys just said that it, i was just going nowhere it felt yeah. it felt okay and then i was sort of running the bottom in three and four but i kept missing the exit in four because we were too fast coming in so just a learning curve and yeah hopefully they can do something there but obviously they're all you know they don't know what the track's going to do i guess so you know, I, I, we can't really complain. That's why we came down just to get some more laps and be part of the, you know, the opening of the track and with the new surface and new management. So, yeah, I can't really complain. Just roll with the punches. I think we'll start out of P13 in the A now and then hopefully move forward and into the top 10 somewhere and, yeah, go from there.
So you uh, you won. Seemed like the A main track was pretty good. You had to drive a little bit to get through it. Yeah. Some very hectic moments in uh, lap traffic as well. Yeah, yeah. It was such a fast track like that. Everyone's sort of up on the pace, and no one, no one really is, is different in speed. So trying to make decisions and passing is you just got to be really smart about. It, otherwise, you know, going home to track. What kind of track does it remind you of now? Um, I'll probably say a little bit like Perth, just how it gets up on the fence. Like I haven't really raced on any other track that's so so close to the fence other than Perth and here. So. I'd probably say it, it feels like Perth, but it, it, it's not like Perth, but it feels like Perth. And I'm not sure, the racing's just so fast, so the East Coast stuff we've got, you know, there's a lot of lot of rain, a lot of moisture, so, you know, the tracks are always been so heavy this season for us. But um, I'm just, yeah, glad to do it, you know, the results, have, the results have paid off from our learning from going to different tracks, so I just want to keep doing it and get better. Yeah, sometimes I take a lot of cash, 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 cash on that track. Don't know my limits when I'm trying to make a pass, pass on your ass. I don't give a damn, I just throw it up. Dirty bird, dirt track and getting crunk. Thinking I can make it work, but it don't. Now your feelings getting hurt. I don't really give a damn, sucker. Even if you fam, I wanna run up with my ass. Facebook blast, kiss my ass and my other. And if you know the deal, you can keep it real. Shut your mouth, but we all spill blood on the track. Sweat where it's at.